famous burger location throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one the only Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done at the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it. The knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a big fight. Presenting Stockton, California. Ah, yes, here is Nick Diaz. Some people wondered if we'd ever see him make this walk again. Good to see Nick Diaz making the walk to the From the 209, which you are also gracefully uh -huh. representing with that tattoo. But Nick Diaz was the start of the Diaz dynasty. A guy that went out there every time and just gave it his all. His first round, one round fight with Paul Davis back in Strike Force uh -huh. is still believed to be the greatest one-round championship fight in history. Willing to go through the fire in order to make you engage him in the type of fight that he wants. He has phenomenal boxing and also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Beat Paul Daly and then returned to the UFC at UFC 137 to defeat BJ Penn at the time. His 11th straight win. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo Jr. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules that hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, is he a good counter-striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented. Oh, what a hit kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice right hand.
total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Just over two minutes now to go. an exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times. And one out. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Performance. The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, here. and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over Ready to the run. head. Eventually, run. he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Alba. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, my goodness. Well, we've seen a lot of different... Oh, my goodness. with the punch there. Aldo's nose is... He's hurt bad. Oh, yeah. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, now he's back up. Looking for that left hand, just missed. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Oh! The official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight 
champion of the world, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz, ladies and gentlemen, probably will be a subdued celebration as usual, but make no mistake about it. This was a big win here tonight and a very impressive performance out of Nick Diaz. Perhaps his next fight will be...